Well, hello my loves, how are you all today? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new, my name is Silvina and in today's video we're going to start with the fashion designer houses style dissection series that I promised you since last week and we're going to start with the first one that is my personal favorite which is Chanel so we're going to do a little dissection of the Chanel style we're also going to talk a little bit about the history of Chanel and at the end of this video I'm going to share with you some tips on how to get the Chanel look and some of your ideas so in a recent video we talked about fashion designer brand stylistic identity and this video is a continuation of that one so if you're interested go check it out I'll leave it up here or in the description box okay let's begin with today's video first we're going to do a little historic rundown of the Maison Chanel before even becoming a couturier, Gabrielle Chanel started as a millionaire creating hats for women in high society. She also opened her first store in 1910 called Chanel Mods at 21 Rue Cambon. This helped her build a reputation and create a name for herself. In 1912, she opened her first boutique in Deauville, expanding her line of product to sportswear, chemises, and sleepovers for women. There, she started to develop her characteristic style of loose pieces with simple lines, which made her an absolute success. In 1915, she opened her first couture house in Biarritz and started to prepare her first old couture collection. Eight years after opening her first store in 1910, she moved to the very iconic building at 21 Rue Cambon, where she spent the rest of her life designing and creating her own empire. This building is where every collection that we see on the runway turns into life. In 1921, the Maison expanded into what would be a very successful business, which is fragrance, creating the most iconic perfume to this date, in my opinion, which is the Chanel No. 5, in collaboration with Ernest Beau. The popularization of this fragrance boomed in 1952 thanks to Marilyn Monroe, who said that she only wore Chanel No. 5 to bed. But the expansion continued now on to makeup, creating in 1924 the Société des Parfums Chanel, which is a company in charge of distributing fragrance and makeup products. Following that line, in 1927, the first skincare line was launched with 15 different cosmetic products. In 1926, she created the iconic little black dress. She was an avid lover of black because she thought that it was the color of class, elegance and sophistication that could make anyone, and I quote, walk around like millionaires. In 1932, the brand continued its diversification, launching the first high jewelry collection called Bijou de Diamants with 45 different pieces. But then Second World War came and in 1939, the Maison closed four out of its five stores, only remaining with the 31 Rue de Cambon one. There, perfumes and accessories were sold, but no clothes. Jumping forward in time a little bit, 1954 was the year that Coco decided to return to Couture with the reopening of the Couture House and a fashion show to present the new collection. In 1955, another icon came to life and another diversification for the brand took place and the 255 bag was born. It was a quilted handbag with a gold chain and named after the date of its creation. The bag was different for its time because it had a double chain shoulder strap which allowed women to carry their handbags but also to have free hands to do other things. Continuing with the icons, in 1956 she presents her tweed suit in her collection and in 1957 she creates the two-tone sling bags with black tips. Coco Chanel died in 1971. After her death, the brand slowly faded and kept only the fragrance line. This is up until Karl Lagerfeld came into the picture in 1981 and became the new creative director. Karl Lagerfeld had the vision of making Chanel great again. He was rapturous, forward thinking and revived the brand, making it one of the most profitable fashion houses in the world up until this day, with a lot of help of marketing, of course. He revived the cruise collections and introduced the matière de art and pre collections, restored the haute couture collection, and created the ready to wear collection as we know it today. In 1987, Chanel Watches was created, launching its first line of fine watches. The 90s was a very successful decade for Chanel, consolidating the brand and making it appealing not only to elite people but to everyone. In 2000, the first fashion show for the Cruise Collection took place, making it a regular each year from that point on. The Cruise Collection is like a holiday collection catered to a mid-season traveler audience. 
In 2002, it takes place the first fashion show for the Matière the Arts collection, which was created to honor and celebrate craftsmanship and creative expression. In 2019, Gard Lagerfeld unfortunately passed away, and Virginie Viard became the new creative director for Chanel. And here we are today. So you may remember that in the last video we talked about fashion brands falling into one of three different categories, those being authority brands, iconic brands, and lifestyle brands. Well, Chanel is definitely an iconic brand. Everybody knows Chanel, or at least they've heard about it, and it's one of the top leading fashion brands in the world, and it has been for so many years. People instantly recognize the CC logo, the tweed jacket, the Chanel number no. 5, the 255 bag, the stacking pearl necklaces, and so on. It's an impactful brand that has built itself around the myth of Coco Chanel, who is praised and admired by millions up until this day, always coming back to her, her values, and her style. But the thing is, although Coco Chanel is the main figure of the brand, it has had other iconic figures like Karl Lagerfeld, who live up until this day in the collective mind as one of the best carriers of the Chanel spirit, but also as an icon on its own. And let's be honest, Karl Lagerfeld was a big contributor to Chanel being undisputedly one of the most iconic fashion brands in history. As we said in the previous video, the stylistic identity of the brand may evolve over time, especially with the emergence of new creative directors who have their own vision, but they always remain inside a specific parameter, and that is the personality of the brand, is the essence. Coco Chanel's Chanel was classic but revolutionary. She was a pioneer in many things, and she broke the dressing code of her time to create new code for a new type of woman. The beauty of Coco Chanel Chanel was the celebration of women and femininity expressed through simple lines but intricate details. She prioritized comfort and practicality and liberation but immersed in an aura of sophistication. Karl Lagerfeld Chanel was bolder, more out there, sexier, more forward-thinking, youthful, but it was also very feminine, elegant, and sophisticated at the same time. Karl Lagerfeld's purpose was to continue Coco's legacy, not as she used to do things, but as she would have done it. He came to break the structures to convey something new, and that was completely necessary for the brand at the time. Virginie Vier Chanel comes back to the roots, leaning more towards the original vision of Chanel. This is a woman's version of Chanel, a modern version of what Coco as a woman herself had envisioned. It's simpler but beautiful at the same time, soft but intricate. She appeals to heritage and tradition and bringing back the past, but always with a modern twist. She adds more masculine details and shapes inside an overall very feminine and delicate design that creates a very seamless juxtaposition. But overall, Chanel is a brand that represents the free but sophisticated and elegant woman. Chanel's style is timeless, elegant, and relatively simple, but the details are what make it special. There's always something that elevates the look and takes it to a whole different level, even if at first sight it's not really noticeable. The Chanel look has its own unique element, so look for tweed pieces or classic round neck jackets, pearls, two-tone shoes, A-line skirts, stacked accessories, chain belts, flap and quilted bags, lots of layers, gold and silver accessories, but especially gold, glitters, brooches, different textures, pattern tights, see-through pieces, plate and hounds to the prints, white shirt colors poking through, bows, jacket dresses, contrasting edges and two-piece sets, among others. One important thing is that Chanel extravagance is generally focused on the top portion of the outfit from the head to the waist, framing the face by adding different elements or accessories or textures. So you can totally add lots of necklaces and bows and ties and hats and the layering of pieces. The lower part is generally more understated. The fit is always very appropriate to the body, never too loose and never too tight. In terms of color, the original Chanel color palette is black and white. That is the essence of Coco Chanel, those were the colors that she liked to wear the most. And those are the colors that are more commonly associated with the brand. But that being said, you can totally amplify the color palette if you want, just remember to maintain the essence in terms of textures and accessories and shapes and you'll be good to go. A great way to get started with this look is to obviously start with the basics, that could be a white shirt and some black pants or shorts or skirt 
or a little black dress and then build the outfit by incorporating different textures or more unique pieces that are very typical in the Chanel style that we talked a few minutes ago and lastly it's very important that you don't forget the accessories Chanel is very famous for stacking accessories so you can stack pearl necklaces or belts you can add hats or headbands or hair ties or bows or brooches and so on so that being said let's check out some outfit ideas to get the Chanel look even if you don't own a single Chanel piece like me So I hope you enjoyed today's video, please comment down below if you like this outfit and which designer brand would you like me to do next. Lastly, don't forget to like, subscribe and turn the notifications on for more fashion and lifestyle content. And I will leave as always the links in the description box of all of my social media so you can go check them out after this video. I hope you have the most amazing day ever. Ciao ciao!